we got Starbucks at home, okay? The wind, girl, the wind. Like, hey, girl, get these feet, okay? Because they hurt. I literally got approved the next day, y'all. But oh my gosh, this feels so good. You can do what you wanna live how you wanna spin what you wanna be who you wanna be we all start up Hi you guys, it's your girl Janina Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be the start of my weekly vlog. I think this is my first time doing a weekly vlog. Usually when I vlog, I just vlog like in a day, but I decided to try to do a weekly vlog because I do have a few things that I'm gonna be doing this week. I just did my hair and I really like how it turned out. This is like one of my favorite hairstyles to do when my silk press starts to get old. I did make a short, well I filmed the short, I just have to edit it and I'm gonna post it on Tuesday, tomorrow. So by the time you guys see this vlog, my short should already be up. So if you wanna know how I got my hair to look like this, make sure you watch my short, I'm trying to, you know, be consistent a little bit. I did also take some pictures for Instagram. I guess I was just feeling the vibe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, ooh, y'all, I'm out of breath, okay? I officially turned uh, six months. My app told me that I was six months um, on Sunday, I'm 24 weeks. The weeks and the months be confusing me. Like some people say you're still five months. Some people like this is your six months. Girl, I don't know. According to my app, I'm six months now. So yes, and your girl is out of breath, okay? But I took some pictures today. I might post these on Instagram. I don't know, I was just feeling a vibe. I was like, well, I'm making a short. I might as well take some pictures because the lighting was hitting in the bathroom today. And I even posted a story on my Instagram. I don't know, I just felt like posting. But before we head out and run these errands, I'm going to go ahead and make me a iced vanilla chai um, Starbucks edition. And I noticed in my last vlog, I told y'all that I was gonna show y'all how I made it and girl, I never showed y'all how I made it. So let me just show y'all these ingredients really quick and then I'm gonna show y'all how I make my chai tea. Okay, so the main two ingredients, excuse the background, I have to take this toilet paper upstairs. Um, but the main two ingredients that you're gonna need is this Tazo Classic Chai Tea. I got this from Walmart. I think it's like $4. And then the next thing that you need is like your milk. I choose to use oat milk. Um, there's another oat milk that I like better. I like this one, but I actually like the other one. I think the other one is by Planet Oats, I believe. So once this milk runs out, I'm gonna get the Planet Oats oat milk. But this is the one that I'm using now. This is from Target. You can use like almond milk, regular milk, whatever you wanna use. And then this is, like I said, I don't live alone, so I put my name on my stuff. But this is the vanilla syrup because I like the vanilla chai, but you can use whatever syrup. Like some people like brown sugar, some people like the caramel, the hazelnut, but I like vanilla. So this is the syrup that I use. I accidentally bought the sugar free, so I'm not sure how this is gonna taste but I'm kind of mad about the sugar-free because girl, I want all my sugar, but <laughs> apparently I got the sugar-free. Um, maybe maybe God was trying to tell me, girl, you need, to, you need to scale it back on the sugar. So I got the sugar-free one. I don't know how it tastes with that one, but this is the one I've been using. I got like literally a drop and I might use all of this because I've been putting it in this little measuring cup. And y'all, I promise this measuring cup, cup is clean. It's just really old. Um, and I fill it up to like the bottom. So I feel like this might be how much I will use. I don't know, sometimes I'll be eyeballing it. And then this is just my cup of ice that I'm gonna use. I got all my ingredients here so I can make it. And then this cup, I got this cup off of a shop on Etsy. I will leave the link below. I really like this cup. I do wanna order more. The only thing I will say is like the cup, the lid fits, like it definitely fits on there, but like it's not like super tight on there. So I don't know if I would recommend this for like kids. But this is supposed to be like the grande size. So yeah, I got this off a of shop, off of Etsy. And it does have the lines. The lines actually do measure up because I had the actual cup from Starbucks. And these lines are like basically the same measurements that they use at Starbucks, which I really like. So yeah, bro. So let's go ahead and make this chai tea. So you're first gonna start with this. And y'all just gonna watch what I do, um, basically. I found this recipe, like the measurements off of TikTok, I seen some girl make it. But yeah, with the Tazo, this is like the way I like to make it. And I feel like it tastes like similar to the way they make it at Starbucks. So yeah, but you can do yours however you wanna do it. If you have any like syrups that you wanna add, like you know, like the little caramel sauce or vanilla sauce or white chocolate sauce, you can add that as well. But these are the only ones I'm gonna be using. 
So I'm gonna fill this up to the bottom line. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna fill mine up to about there. A little, sometimes I go a little bit above the bottom line. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But I feel like this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> um, and then for my milk, you're just gonna fill it up to that top line. Like I said, I like this milk, but I noticed that the Planet Oats one, I like that one better. For some reason, this one, I don't know, just, I like it, but I don't know, it's something different about it. I don't know if this, if this, I don't know if it's because this one has DHA Omega-3 in it. Like, I don't know if that makes a difference. I feel like it shouldn't make a difference, but I don't know, child. I feel like I could taste a little bit of a difference. Okay, so I filled it up, filled the milk up to the top line. Sometimes I go a little bit below or a little bit above because I'm not a huge fan of like milk in my chais. Like I want to taste more of the chai than like the milk. So yeah, and then we're going to put the syrup in. I'd be like measuring mine, but honestly, when it comes to the syrup, just eyeball it. I wish I had the ones with like the pumps on them. Like on TikTok, they be having, I knew I was going to use the rest of this. Don't judge me, okay? Because I don't know if that's a lot, but... I like to taste my vanilla. So this is probably a lot, but <laughs> oh well, girl. So I'm going to pour all of that in there. My flavoring, my pump of vanilla or two or three. Starbucks be using like four pumps. So yeah. Anyways, trying to make myself feel better. And then I'm going to add the ice. Um, I know some people be like, girl, if you can make your own Starbucks to drink at home, like why would you not add more product? <laughs> You know, because sometimes, like, they be adding more ice than, like, the actual product. So, the fact that you can make it at home yourself is, like, why not add more product? But, honestly, I'm trying to follow their recipe, like, Starbucks recipe. And the way they do it is, is like, if your drink has ice in it. So, I don't know. It don't really bother me. But let's see if it tastes the same. It's my Starbucks at home. Girl, we got Starbucks at home, okay? We got Starbucks at home. We are saving our money. We are saving our coins, okay? That's what we're doing. So let's see. Oh, girl, I don't know what I did today. I think it's the vanilla. I think I added a lot of vanilla. <laughs> but it tastes exactly how I like my Starbucks chives to taste. So boom, you literally save your money. Like you pay like $4 for this. This all together is probably like what? The most six dollars in my chai at freaking Starbucks is seven dollars and some change. So I I can make like I want to say like five chais, maybe six. Honestly, I don't know. I never measured it, but all I know is I can make more than one chai with this. So it's cheaper. So yeah, let me go ahead and clean up my mess, get my belongings, and I will meet y'all in the car. All right, so we are in the car. I hate when my sunroof be shining on my head like that, cause girl. <laughs> Um, all right, so we're in the car right now. I'm about to head to get some gas. I feel like I always need gas, but whoa, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but uh, let me tell y'all, I was actually supposed to start this vlog on Saturday, but I worked last Friday. And let me tell you, where I worked, we were so busy. And the job that I do, I'm on my feet like the whole time, unless I'm on my lunch or on my break. And my feet have been hurting super bad. Like, honestly, it's been taking me like a day to recover. Like, my, my feet hurt. They swell just a little bit. Like, not too bad, but just like a tad. And like, sometimes my legs be hurting. And it's just like ridiculous because I'm like, girl, why does it take me a whole day to recover? But then I gotta remind myself, you're pregnant. <laughs> so, um, I'm thinking about telling my job that, for one, I'm thinking about letting this job go. Because if I'm being completely honest, like, I'm not making a ton of money at this job. It's just a cute little part-time job, honestly. And if I were to really like grind and go hard with my other stuff that I do, then I really wouldn't need to have this part-time job. Like the money that I make, I can easily get that in a sponsorship or a video. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I really like, so I was supposed to start this vlog on Saturday, but girl, I was, I could not like, so the only thing that I did on Saturday was get my oil change and I was supposed to have like a whole car maintenance day and like get my car wash and everything. But honestly, I went to go get my oil change and that was it for me. Like I was so done. So um, I have a, an appointment with my doctor 
where's my wallet okay here it is i have an appointment with my midwives on thursday so i'm gonna tell them to write a note to my job and basically tell them that i can only work like six hours max and yeah because this is like honestly it's too much for me and i think i might quit the job like pretty soon because like i said the money that i make it's not like i'm making like tons of money but anyways i'm at the gas station we'll continue this conversation once i cop the gas so yeah girl i'm All right, I just got my gas. Let me get my hand sanitizy. So let me tell y'all, give y'all the rundown, the shindig of today. I actually do have to work tomorrow. And I think, I already told myself that after work, I'm gonna book me a foot massage. Um, I'm literally just gonna get a foot massage at the nail salon. <laughs> Cause I think my nail salon does uh, foot massages for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I forgot, but I need to call them. Maybe today I need to call them and ask them if they still do that and how much does it cost um because i definitely i think after work tomorrow i'm definitely going to be getting a foot massage because girl my feet be hurting yeah so let me give y'all the rundown of today okay let me stop talking about the next days but let me talk about today so today i have to go pick up my tags for my car because they actually expire um this month in july so i bought them on saturday the same day that I got my oil change and they give you the option to like mail them or you can pick them up so I'm gonna go pick those up right now and honestly my car needs a, a full-on detail like honestly if I would have saved because y'all know well maybe you don't know but I do like the cash budgeting system so I recently decided to make an envelope for my car so like if I need my oil change a car wash a car detail I can put money aside to save for it and not too long ago I had to buy a new car battery and that was like 200 and something dollars and I had the money but it's like girl it was so random like <laughs> I was not like that's not something I planned for you know so now I have an envelope that I have where I can put cash into to save for stuff like that um, so the next time I get my oil change, hopefully I will have money to cover that and then some. When my son is born, my car will be fully paid off, which thank God, I'm excited for that. So I won't have a car payment no more, praise God. I just wanted to get the basics out the way, like the necessities, which was getting my oil change and getting my tags redone. So that's what we're on the way to do now. And then I also have to go grocery shopping today. And then I also have to go to the bank because I need to take out the money that I am budgeting so that's the plan for this Monday it's a chill Monday it's gloomy outside it's supposed to rain on and off today and honestly I'm here for it so yeah I've been blabbering let me not blabber too much because it's supposed to be a weekly vlog <laughs> that's my problem with these vlogs I talk too much and then it's just like girl you running up the minutes and you need to spread out these minutes for the other days so I'm gonna see y'all at the car tag place, okay? I'll see y'all there. Y'all, look at my hair! <laughs> the wind, girl, the wind. Like, it's windy as hell out here. But I just got my new tags. I think I'm gonna start doing that. Like I said, I think buying it online is actually easier. So I think we're gonna start doing that. And I just posted some pictures on the gram, so make sure y'all go like my pictures on Instagram, okay? My Instagram is always linked in the description. Ooh, who put me on their page? Anyways, they're always linked in the description below. I asked people to guess because honestly, let me let me drive and do what I need to do. See, that's my problem. Let me drive and talk, okay? Drive and talk, Jamel. Drive and talk. Um, oh my gosh, I feel so accomplished. I got my oil changed, got my tags done. <laughs> I feel grown, honey. I feel grown. Do y'all ever just feel grown when like your bills is paid, everything is done, your car is in order, things is just in order, you just feel grown, like I feel grown. <laughs> but um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Mm. Yeah. So the thing is I have not announced the gender anywhere else like the only way you will know the gender 
is if you watch my second channel and I don't really promote my second channel that much I don't really promote my second channel like when I post a video over here I don't put on my story like oh go check out my new video on my second channel like I used to do that but I don't do that and I probably won't do that until my son is born because people don't actually know the gender they don't know the gender unless they watch my second channel so who am out of breath again girl this baby got me losing my breath okay <laughs> But yeah, so I had them get I had them guess in the comments under my Instagram picture what they think it is. And everybody thinks I'm having a girl. Like everybody's like, girl, 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 team girl. And I'm like, maybe it's the pink nails. Like, I feel like they're seeing the pink nails and like they see me like girly and stuff. So maybe they think I'm gonna have a girl. But no, y'all. I am not having a girl. So if you follow me on my second channel, you get all the tea, baby. All the tea. I'm not really gonna announce the gender like on my Instagram and stuff until my son is born. So y'all over here get the tea, baby. You get the tea. But I'm headed to the bank. We gotta get that money out. And then I need to go grocery shopping real bad. I'm over here by Target. Do I need anything from Target? You know when you just pass by a Target, you just think you need something from Target. But I really don't need nothing from Target. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go to Target. We're gonna go get this cash and then we're gonna go to Walmart and shake some ad. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> then we're gonna go to Walmart and um, do some grocery shopping because that's where I get my groceries. Okay. Look at her. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. Huh. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Hey. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby. Whichever is faster. Oh, huh. whichever one is in a hassle. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew That you be a freak and a friend too Yeah, you into everything I'm into Oh, I got something that I can lend you Oh, a peace of mind, baby Come and get a peace of mind yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine Oh, I get you home by a decent time Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine Yeah, let's make it happen, girl, I need some time Speaking of time, who stopped it? Yes, all right i finally got all the groceries i just put my groceries in the back seat i got a little bit of extra stuff that was not on my list and i kind of spent more than i planned for but that is okay um so now i'm going to go home and i'm gonna put these groceries away i'm gonna go home and put these groceries away and then i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my dinner just so i can get it out the way like I said, I'm just going to have cheeseburgers and fries today and probably for tomorrow as well. Um, I've never used those patties before, I don't think. So it's going to be my first time using those patties. But I ain't feel like getting like, you know, like making a hamburger, like sizing it from scratch and all that. I just wanted a patty that was already, already practically done. All you got to do is just heat it up on the stove, girl. Season it up a little bit. Whew. I feel like I'm gonna keep saying that throughout this vlog. I'm out of breath. The uh, cashier guy was helping me because I was trying to scan the little waters and they wasn't scanning. I don't know why. He was like, you shouldn't be lifting this anyway, miss ma'am. I was like, you right. I'm supposed to have somebody here to help me, but you know, <laughs> I ain't got my Russell Wilson yet. You know what I'm saying? We waiting on that. We waiting on that. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm done for today. It's only like 1 p.m. I feel like this day, like, I feel like I got an early start to the day. I'm like, what time did I leave out? I don't know, but I'm not mad at that because I'm gonna go home, put these groceries away, cook some, um, cook my burgers and my fries so that can be done. And all I gotta do is just eat. And then, y'all, I'm just gonna be relaxing for the rest of the day because, like I said, I have to work tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 3. And I just know my feet gonna be hurting. So I'm not trying to be on my feet anymore for the rest of the day. So, yeah, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow. I'm probably gonna get a foot massage, like I said. And I actually need to call them to see if they still do that. So I'm going to do that when I get home. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow after I'm done working. Hey y'all, 
good morning so today is what's today wednesday um i did vlog a little bit yesterday but honestly i'm not sure how much i'm gonna keep in because yesterday was a day girl okay after work i was honestly over it i do briefly want to talk about the massage that i got so the massage was okay honestly yesterday i started feeling sad when i was in the nail salon because i was just thinking about life i was like dang like i should be having the person who helped create my child you know massaging my feet and i just started thinking about life and i was like i never want to experience being pregnant alone again like in the future if i have more kids i definitely want to be married and honey when i say lesson has been learned lesson has been learned but like i said i love my son i'm grateful nonetheless and i don't regret anything but definitely moving forward if i have any more kids i definitely want and need to be married okay honey the massage was all right they talked me into getting this this wax for ten dollars honestly i didn't need the wax so i will never get that again and they were trying to get me to get like a pedicure but my toes i just got my toes done not too long ago and they still look good even the lady was looking like oh yeah your toes still look good i'm like yeah i'm not finna pay to get my toes done and they don't need to be done just because i want the massage and so at the nail salon they charge like at my nail salon they charge a dollar per minute so i wanted like a 10 minute foot massage and she put the hot wax on and then she was focusing a lot on my legs and i kept trying to put emphasis that i don't have anybody to massage my feet and i really need my feet like massage i don't really care about the legs like girl get these feet okay because they hurt tell me why and i get it it's a business and i think that's also what made me feel sad because i just wanted to feel catered to you know and then plus i'm pregnant i'm emotional so it was just like when she had her timer or she just kept looking at her phone for like the 10 minutes and i just felt so just like you know i felt it felt very transactional i don't really know how to explain it but i just started feeling sad and i did cry yesterday i'm just gonna keep it real with y'all i cried yesterday because i'm just like dang you know he out there just not giving a care and i'm over here carrying my son my feet hurt i'm you know trying to do what i gotta do and it's just it's hard and then i think my mom was saying this too she was like i want to treat you to like a prenatal massage i think i need to go somewhere that actually specializes in like foot massages and body massages because even my shoulder is starting to hurt girl so yeah so yesterday was not a good day for me i don't think i'm going to include any of the clips from yesterday to be honest because girl it was just not my day um but i did pick up some packages i have two sponsorships one is for this channel the other one is for Shein. i try to get Shein to move over to this channel but they have certain requirements like you have to have a certain amount of subscribers a certain amount of views um but i kept trying to get them to come over here because i have more females over here so i got this big old box full of stuff so i actually have to film this video today i got it yesterday I'll leave my discount code down below you can use my code for anything it doesn't have to be for home appliances um, I'm also working with them on some maternity swimsuits, something else too. So I'm working with Shein quite a few times, but um, one of the things that I got from them is this shoe rack and I really need this. So I'm just going to put the shoe rack together before I film. Let me go ahead and show y'all, maybe lower y'all down or put y'all somewhere where y'all can see what I'm doing. Look at this belly y'all. Oh my gosh. And by the way. Um, if you watch my short where I did the voluminous curls on my old silk press, these are still the same curls from Monday. I have not retouched my hair at all. I haven't recurled it or anything. I literally just threw my hair in a bun like at nighttime. I throw my hair in a loose bun and then I take it down in the morning. These are literally still the same curls from Monday. Like, I'm going to stop blabbering and I'm about to put this shoe rack together so I can film this video. It definitely feels like this is definitely plastic like this is the picture this is what it's supposed to look like like this is definitely plastic but i mean it really didn't cost that much so we just finna put this thing together and we just finna roll with it so wow wow yeah look at me dead in my eyes i know that you know that a nigga ain't lying too much respect all of my shorty bds they know not to try too much respect i used to hand out cds before they were buy Whoa. She love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Hey. Full L stuff team stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up, I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Her, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nines. Do it. Breaking and bending the spines. Do it. I hate a privileged rapper that they had a hit since the times. Do it. Niggas be fully. Okay, so I just got done filming the video for my main channel but I wanted to show you guys this shoe rack like it's so cute I think I think I'm gonna go back on Shein's website and get one with my own money but look at this oh my gosh like all these heels were like spread across there obviously I still need to get like another shoe rack because I have like a pair of heels in the corner over there and I have another pair of heels there my slippers I don't know what I'm gonna do with my slippers um but I do plan on getting another shoe rack. I absolutely love it. I feel like especially for the price, like, girl, look at that. So, yes, this shoe rack is so cute and small. So, basically, it looks like only two pairs of shoes fit per rack, which isn't bad. So, yeah, I do want to get another one. And, obviously, when my son comes here, I'm going to move this somewhere else. But, for now, this is just where it's going to stay. But yeah, this this is eventually going to, like, this fan is going to move. Everything over here is going to be moved. But for now, this is just where my shoes are. And I just really like that. I feel like it looks so cute. Don't mind my heels, girl. They, they a little dusty. I haven't worn my heels in a minute. But I definitely want to get another one of these. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. One more thing I wanted to show you guys is this cute little clock. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see because of the glare. But I also got this cute little clock from Shein. It's like the little mirror clock thing. And I put it over here with my little YouTube plaque and my little cute little pompous grass. And then my little clock. And I really like it. It's so cute. So yeah, that clock is also from Shein. Right now, I am super hungry. I'm about to make me a salad. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit. Niggas be full of excuses. I let it take any time. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes. You see all the times that I had to go slide. Too many sticks. We go to war with whoever ain't never been by. Too many sticks. I was dead, your ops, and none of them died. Pussy. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? Testing emojis, telling got eggplant muscle went over her head. Catching my side of the studio. Make him repeat what he said. Pussy. Yeah. Let's have sex in the car. Oh God. The Maybach came with a bar. Okay, so I just finished editing and uploading my video. I just have to fill out the description box and send it off to the company. Um, it is currently 3.48. And y'all, I really want to see the Barbie movie. Somebody was talking about it. Well, a lot of people was talking about it. And I was like, should I go see it? I don't know if I'm going to see it. I might... If I do, it's probably not going to be until like the next vlog. I don't think it's going to make this vlog, honestly. But I really want to see it now because everybody's talking about it. And at first I was like, I don't want to see it because like, you know, it's Barbie. Like I'm not a huge Barbie fan. I like Barbie, but I'm not like, I don't know. I just wasn't like rushing to go see it because I just didn't know what it was going to give. Like I just thought like maybe like if I had like a daughter or like a you know a niece or something i probably would have took her to go see it but i'm just like me as a grown woman like do i need to see that by myself i don't know but y'all just better about to die but a few other people were saying that are like my age that were like the barbie movie was so good it's so worth it and it's it's not what you guys expect so i'm like should i go see it y'all let me know if y'all seen the barbie movie but let me change this battery real quick and then but yeah, let me know if you've seen the Barbie movie and if I should watch it. Also, I've been trying to plan out my content because, I don't know, I don't really want to do too many vlogs because honestly, I don't be doing much as y'all can see from this vlog. So, I think I'm going to hold off on the vlogs. This might be my last vlog for a little minute and I want to put out like hygiene content, pamper routines, like more active stuff like that. And I also want to do more shorts. Oh, and y'all remember early in this vlog, I was talking about my Starbucks chai. Let me tell y'all, so when I went grocery shopping, I bought this white chocolate, like, 
sauce syrup thing not a syrup it's like a sauce like the topping hopefully y'all know what i'm talking about but i bought that and i put it in my chai because when i went to dutch bros i got the white chocolate um chai and it was so freaking good so i was like i kind of want to make it at home or similar to it so i'm kind of glad that i got the sugar free because now that i'm using the little white chocolate syrup that already has enough sugar in it and i just put the sugar free vanilla syrup in there and i made it the same way i just added the white chocolate little mix girl it was so freaking good i don't think i can make my chives without the white chocolate in it now like it's so freaking good i do want to get my car washed <sighs> i just don't be feeling like doing nothing you know like once you get the land in this bed Huh, you just don't feel like doing nothing, especially being six months pregnant. Girl. So I'm sorry if this vlog is not eventful. Um, that's kind of why I don't want to do any more vlogs for a minute because I'm not really doing nothing. Unless I actually do something like go see the Barbie movie, um, I don't know, go bowling or something. Like, unless I'm doing something eventful, I think I'm gonna hold off on the vlogs for a minute because your girl just don't be doing nothing <laughs> not right now anyway i'm just chilling in this era of my life i used to be outside turning up having my drinks going out but i'm six months pregnant i just feel like you know somebody were to ask me how my pregnancy is going i would just say it's very much boring like i'm grateful that i'm healthy and well and alive and my baby's doing great but girl it's very much boring <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it's boring because it's like if you want to do something then you gotta get dressed and then you like you got your belly and it's like you don't feel like trying to find something to wear and then like once you go out you get tired and then then it's like the stuff you used to do you can't really do it no more or you don't really want to do the same things no more like it just so then you're just left with like chilling in the house watching netflix and not really doing much so yeah if I can describe my pregnancy right now, I would say it's very much boring. <laughs> my mom had asked me the same question. She was like, how's your pregnancy so far? What would you describe it as? I'm like, boring. Because <laughs> I'm not, like, I used to go on solo trips. I used to take staycations in the city. Like, I would just stay in the hotel and be on a little rooftop drinking my champagne and my little bikini. Like, girl, I used to just be running the streets. And now, I just... I either don't have the energy or it's just like it's not the same so unfortunately being pregnant is very boring but it is what it is hopefully it'll be a little bit more eventful when my son comes out I'm sure it will be and then I'm gonna be like dang I remember the days it was nice and quiet and chill and then watch I'll be missing these days it's always the opposite the grass always looks greener on the other side <laughs> Always. good morning you guys so today is thursday i am on my way to um, my appointment with my midwife i've been wearing a lot of brown in this video well i wore red yesterday but i wore brown on monday i think <laughs> but i promise y'all this is a different little outfit it's another brown jumpsuit that i have but i'm not really running i'm not really running late because um my appointment is not until 11 and I live literally five minutes away from the birthing center. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I decided to do a birthing center and I hope I don't regret this choice because I've never given birth before and it's basically gonna be like natural, but they do have like this nitro something, some type of gas that they can give you. I don't think they do like epidurals. So hopefully I don't regret this decision to give birth in a birthing center um the reason why i chose a birthing center is because i just wanted something more intimate and i love the birthing center like my birthing center is so beautiful it's very cozy just very cozy vibes honestly if i was like rich and i had like the resources and like a big house i would probably try to do like a home birth but i'm not there yet we're gonna see how i feel like maybe after i give birth you know and i'm out of breath right now oh my gosh whoo I count how many times I said that in this vlog. I know I said it multiple times. But depending on how this birth center vibe goes, then that'll determine if I 
want to do like a home birth in the future or if I just want to stick to the hospital but I didn't want to go to the hospital because I feel like it was going to be too restrictive and I wanted to be able to move around and choose whatever positions I wanted to choose and I know you can actually request that at some hospitals but I feel like a lot of times especially being a black woman they don't really like listen to black women you know what I'm saying so it's like yeah you might be able to do that but are you do you look like me like is your skin color the same skin color as mine you, you get what I'm saying and I feel like black women you know especially when it comes to giving birth and stuff like we are neglected a lot so I just didn't want to deal with the hospitals I wanted to be somewhere where they can advocate for me like this place they have black women in there um, they also the owner she goes to like black activist stuff and yeah I just really like her so yeah and I just felt really comfortable and they make it very clear that they advocate for all women especially black women so yeah I just wanted to be in an environment where I didn't feel restricted I wanted to feel like I can move around you know they also have the, the birthing tub so I wanted to get in there like I just wanted different options so that's why I chose to do the birthing center um, we're gonna see how that goes but yeah so I'm literally like five minutes away so whenever I go into labor like I'm literally here when how, how long was that that was actually two minutes y'all two minutes I say five minutes give or take because you know we got red lights and stuff may happen but yeah basically I just have to turn at this light and I'm literally at my birthing center so yeah I also wanted to quickly tell y'all that your girl got monetized I got monetized last week I forgot the exact date but I think it was last week and literally I hit 4,000 watch hours and then literally I applied because you have to then apply for your channel to get reviewed and stuff like that and so I did that I literally got approved the next day y'all so my channel is finally monetized so these last what seven months of videos that you guys have seen I literally did not get paid for any of that I was doing all of that for free which I don't mind because I love YouTube and I love what I do but it does it definitely does feel good to like get rewarded like it does feel good to know that now the videos that I make I can possibly like make money off of them you know so that's definitely a good feeling because what the heck okay it was like blurry I have to go in there it's like literally 10 59 so I'm about to go in there now but now my channel is monetized and I want to thank you guys so freaking much like I'm super excited it definitely does put like make you feel more motivated to post you know especially if you're gonna get like a little bit of compensation from it even though I love YouTube and like I said I've been posting for the past seven months on this channel without getting a dime so the fact that I'm finally monetized and able to make money off of my second channel I'm just super grateful and thank you guys for helping me get to a thousand subscribers I think I'm at 3,000 subscribers and the watch hours the watch hours was like the biggest thing that I was waiting on so thank you guys for that I'm gonna head inside I'm not gonna vlog in there but I will let you guys know how my appointment goes so all right you guys I am just getting out of my appointment everything went well it is currently 12 10 mind y'all my appointment starts at 11 but I didn't get in there till about 11 10 because they were a little bit busy slightly busy but that's another thing that I actually like about having a midwife and like going to the birthing center because the appointments feel more intimate they feel more personable you know personable they feel more personal and close you know so I like that there was another black lady in there she was super nice she said that this is like her seventh baby well they have like a blended family so she was like oh yes it's another baby to add to the list like she was asking me how many months I was and all that and I asked her the same thing and she was like girl I don't know honey I'm just ready for the baby to come out <laughs> and I was cracking up I was like I feel that and I was like yeah this is my first baby so you know I am definitely doing the first mom things you know where you're just obsessed with everything and yeah so everything looks well I was able to express any concerns that I had or any questions um I heard his heartbeat she said his head was down when she took the heartbeat she's like yeah his head is down um and then I'm 24 weeks and four days according to like my app but my baby always measures Ooh, got the hiccups he always measures a little bit bigger so um so she said he's measuring about 25 weeks 
um, almost 26 weeks. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, like we're just gonna go with 24 weeks and four days, but he is measuring about 25 weeks. So, and I tend to get that. He usually measures like a few days more than what the app actually says. And then I did confirm that I am six months because the weeks and the months just be confusing me, child. They also gave me this drink because I have to drink this for my glucose test for my next appointment. So I have to go put this in the fridge. I think I'm going to go home and do that first before I start running these errands and running the streets. So yeah, I have to drink that drink 30 minutes before my next appointment, which is in four weeks. Um, and I've taken that test before. Um, but I, t I did that for the hospital that I was at. So now that I'm with them, I guess they're just going to do like their own testing. I passed it the first time, but I have to have the test again with them. So let's pray and hope that I pass it the second time because I'm not trying to have, I think it's called jet something diabetes, something. I forgot. It starts with a G. Once I drop this drink off and I figure out if I want to actually get my car washed or not, I will let y'all know. But I want to do something like it's nice out. I look cute, you know? So I wanna go somewhere and do something. Maybe I should see the Barbie movie. Should I go see the Barbie movie? I don't know, we're gonna figure out. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do, girl. And then I'm gonna come back. Yeah, okay, so I just made it home. <laughs> I am actually not even in my bathroom. Um, but I figured out where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go to Walgreens because I asked my midwife if I could use pain patches. I was using the salon pos pain patches um and i used to use those when i wasn't pregnant but she said that i can't use those because they have a certain ingredient in them she like looked it up so she she suggested that i use tiger bomb i think that's what it's called so my local walgreens apparently has it for sale but y'all why was i snooping around the house and i found this this is a deep tissue massager and i have been complaining about my shoulder hurting and i'm literally about to go to walgreens to pick up that tiger bomb and i've been looking for something like this i actually just bought a massager off of timu it's supposed to be here next week i bought like this small little massager like literally it's the same thing but it's like super small it's like a handheld one y'all i just turned this thing on and this is like heaven this is exactly what i needed Oh my gosh, this is actually my dad's. <laughs> this is my dad's, but honey, I'm finna steal this. I'm finna use this. I wish I would have known that he had this. I should have known my dad would have something like this. I'm in his bathroom. I'm in my parents' bathroom right now, y'all. <laughs> uh, but I should have known that he would have something like this. And this is exactly what I needed. Oh my gosh. It's a deep tissue massager and you could put the intensity that you need. I, this thing is kind of, I ain't even gonna lie, this thing a little rough. I got it on the low intensity and she a little, you know, she a little rough. But oh my gosh, this feels so good. For some reason, my shoulder be hurting. Oh, I'm finna text my dad and be like, oh, you ain't finna see this massager for a minute. Oh my gosh, I could do this all day. The cord is like moving around. Oh my goodness. Y'all know I've been on a chai tea kick. So I'm about to make me a chai tea and then we're gonna head to Walgreens and I might go to Target to pick up like some face masks and stuff because this weekend, I think I'm gonna do like a pregnancy pampering routine. Um, and I need to wash my hair. Well, my hair doesn't look bad, honestly. I could honestly stretch it. But I'm going to be washing my hair pretty soon. I don't know when, but I just had to show y'all this. This is like magnificent. It was literally sitting on the table when I walked in. I was like, wait, I need this. So shout out to you, Dad. We are on our way to Walgreens. They better have the tar- uh, I was going to say the Target bomb. They better have the Tiger Bomb there. Apparently it's on sale too, so. But y'all, I text my dad, I said, I put it in the family group chat. It's my dad, you know, my mom and my brother's in there. And I said, oh, uh, dad, that massager you have sitting on the table next to the ice pack? Oh yeah, I used that. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. I said, I used that on my shoulder. You might not see that for a minute. He gonna put laughing my ass off. 
Honestly, I'm surprised that's all he said. I thought he would have been like, uh-uh, that's for me. Don't touch that. Da -da 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 -da. But he just put left my ass off. It was as if it was as if he knew I needed that because it was the the deep massager sitting on the kitchen table next to an ice pack. Like and I was just like, is this a massager? I've been needing a massager. So I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. When I go home, I'm gonna go ahead and crack that thing open again, especially while I'm editing. But yeah, y'all, this is gonna be the end of the vlog. Like I said, I want this vlog to go up tomorrow, which is Friday, when you guys are hopefully watching this vlog. So I am gonna end it here. I decided to come to Target, and it looks like they're doing a remodeling in here. And honestly, it looks really nice. So I feel like Target is like the perfect place to browse. So I decided to come here instead of Walmart. So, yeah. So busy, but I've been thinking about what I want to do with you. I know the mother guys have been talking about the way I do what I do. They heard I was good, they wanna see if it's true. They know you're the one I wanna give it to. I can see you on me too. That was me, yeah. yeah. I swear.